There's a man by the name of Captain William Swenson, who recently was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor for his actions on September 8, 2009. On that day, a column of American and Afghan troops were making their way through part of Afghanistan to help protect a group of government officials, a group of Af Afghan government officials who'd be meeting with some local village elders. The column came under ambush and was surrounded on three sides. And amongst many other things, Captain Swenson was recognized for running into live fire to rescue the wounded and pull out the dead. One of the people he rescued was a sergeant, and he and a comrade were making their way to a medevac helicopter. And what was remarkable about this day is by sheer coincidence, one of the medevac medics happened to have a GoPro camera on his helmet and captured the whole scene on camera. It shows Captain Swenson and his comrade bringing this wounded soldier who received a gunshot to the neck they put him in the helicopter, and then you see Captain Swenson bend over and give him a kiss before he turns around to rescue more. I saw this, and I thought to myself, where do people like that come from? What is that? That is some deep, deep emotion when you would want to do that. There's a, there's a, there's a love there. And I want to know, why is it that I don't have people that I work with like that. You know, in the military, they give medals to people who are willing to sacrifice themselves so that others may gain. In business, we give bonuses to people who are willing to sacrifice others so that we may gain. Right? So I asked myself, where do people like this come from? And my initial conclusion was that they're just better people. That's why they're attracted to the military. These better people are attracted to this concept of service. But that's completely wrong. What I learned is that it's the environment. And if you get the environment right, every single one of us has the capacity to do these remarkable things. And more importantly, others have that capacity too. I've had the great honor of getting to meet some of these who we would call heroes, who put themselves and put their lives at risk to save others. And I asked them, why would you do it? Why did you do it? And they all say the same thing because they would have done it for me. It's this deep sense of trust and cooperation. So trust and cooperation are really important here. The problem with concepts of trust and cooperation is that they are feelings, they're not instructions. I can't simply say to you, trust me, and you will. I can't simply instruct two people to cooperate, and they will. It's not how it works, it's a feeling. So where does that feeling come from?